Hey everybody, it's Miss Street. And Zeb. And Zeb here. We, we made it outside. I think I figured out how to actually do this um, with a device that I have and I hope I don't drop it because <laughs> it, it could happen. So we, I hope you can tell by my um, background or my border that we are going to be uh, looking at some Easter eggs. Who's excited about Easter coming up? And me. And he mm -hmm. <laughs> makes me think of the song, Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down a bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Okay, Zeb's not thrilled. So um, I'm gonna, uh, first we're gonna look at quantity and magnitude. And let me tell you, kindergartners, you're gonna get this today for real. You're gonna be like, whoa, this woman is like, a she's fire. got it going on. <laughs> fire. Okay, so remember, Quantity is the actual amount. amount of something. Magnitude is the relative size or amount as compared to something else. If you don't stop with the baseball. Okay, so I have some Kit Kat bars, okay? Zeb, would you like a Kit Kat bar? Yes, I would. All right, so I'm gonna give him a Kit Kat bar. And then I'm gonna give Jesse a Kit Kat bar too. That's not fair. Why? Because that's bigger. How do you mean it's bigger? Put yours up here. They're both a Kit Kat bar. I don't care though. Well, that one's bigger. But they're the same amount. It's one Kit Kat bar. Well. Hey, Anna! Well, that one's bigger than this one. Anna, no, now listen. Would you rather have this Kit Kat bar or that they're both a Kit Kat bar? So their quantity's the same, but guess what's different? Magnitude. Their magnitude. So size matters, people. And don't, we're not eating that. <laughs> and units matter too. So Zeb is going to help me with our subitizing today. I am. And we are going to subitize with Easter eggs. So this is a fun game you can play with your family outside. Remember, you guys are subitizing zero through five. So Zeb David, let's get those eggs. Miss Street's going to play a song called Splashing Around. I don't know. Well, honey, like what we did, remember? Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. Splashing around. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. You can't be watching Zeb either. Uh, I don't hear the music. We could just really go with the music of the birds if we need to. Oh. You ready? All right, I'm going to turn the screen. Oh, I see Easter eggs. Do you see Easter eggs? How many do you see? Show us Zeb with your fingers. Four, good job, okay. We're gonna let Zeb continue. This is a fun song. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready, Zeb. I'm not ready. We're subitizing Easter eggs. Ooh, that's even better. Hurry, Zeb. You done? All right, here we go. See if we can find them. Ooh, I see Easter eggs. How many did you see? Two. Push your brain. All right, we're going to do another one. Hurry, Zeb. This is really good uh, movement to music, too. Oh, you ready? Okay, here we go. Do you see? How many do you see? One. One! All right, one more, Z. Woo! Starting to sweat. Do, 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 Easter eggs. I love to hunt, I love to hunt Easter eggs. Okay, ready? You ready, Z? I was born ready. He was born ready. Woo! How many do you see? Five. Five! Way to go, Zeb! Well, that was a fun song called Splashing Around. Okay, guys. What? I'm trying to do a girl song. Okay. So now we're going to have a problem. I'm sorry, Miss Street's not really good at this. <gasps> Holding this the whole time. Maybe I can figure something out. I'll hold it. Okay, but you got to do this part. 
So we are working with kindergarten operations and algebraic thinking standard three, which means that we are taking um, numbers within 10 and we are seeing the different pairs that we can make. And a lot of times, um, parents, kindergartners, we need to make sure that we are, um, instead of throwing out the plus sign and the equal sign right, right just yet, which I've kind of done that with you guys too, but I want to show you different ways that your kids can see this. So our problem is here. There are 10 Easter eggs on the ground. Some have candy in them and some do not. How many eggs have candy? How many eggs do not have candy? So Zeb's gonna show you with words, or excuse me, numbers and the word and, and the and represents our plus sign. Miss Street's gonna show you with um, a vertical number line, so maybe we can start seeing some patterns. And we're also gonna use our parts equal total. So let's get these 10 Easter eggs. Uh-huh, they're right here. And I want Zeb to show you that they have candy in them. See if you can hear it. That's got candy. Yep. Yep, okay. So Miss Street's gonna tell you right now, they all, they all have candy, okay? So let's put them in the grass right here. Can you hold this? Here, can you, honey, why did you do that? <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Oh, there's me. Yeah, it is you. Let's do them right here. Okay. So, <laughs> good job. Bless it. Bless. Okay. So, here we have 10 Easter eggs with candy. But now, let's look at this. It's a little crazy, isn't it? It's a little hard to see. So, if I put out my tens frame, and maybe the eggs will stay on it, and maybe they won't, but we're going to try. Are they going to stay? No. So, I'm going to mimic them in a tense frame. So, I'm going to have five on the top and five on the bottom. On the bottom. So, Miss Street has already shown this to you. You see them? Five on the top, five on the bottom. They all have candy. So, I've already written that here. That's ten and zero. So, let Miss Street show you that with right here. Oh. You got to hold it over here. Okay, Mary. So the green I'm saying has candy. line so here I have nine that have candy and one that does not and then with our parts equal total I have nine that have candy and one that does not and remember because we've been practicing with our comparing numbers I know that nine is greater than one, so we can see the magnitude. Um, they both come together to make 10, but here I have nine, and nine is greater than one, so I wanna be sure that I show this, um, that one is less than nine, okay? Mm -hmm. You got it? So Zeb, let's take away another candy. Now Zeb thinks he's gonna get Eight and how many don't have candy? Oh crap. Don't say that. Sorry. It's okay. Eight and two. And kindergarten, um, if your kiddos are ready for this, I'm gonna show you. You can you can write it as eight plus two has
a magnitude gets a little bit bigger on the